We've wanted things that we've only dreamed about. Dreamed about things and dared to do something about those dreams. My name is Norman James. In the 1950s, I took a position at GM Styling. I joined the team of designers and engineers that were working on the program called the Firebirds. The Firebirds were clearly inspired by the space age, and we felt like we were ready to try something completely new and unique. We at research think of Firebird 3 as an experiment. Stylist Norm James helped conceive a futuristic line. We called them dream cars because they looked like what people would think that such a car would look like, only in your dreams. And now it appears an American car is driving right into the space age, a revolutionary concept in automobiles developed by GM. We're generally trying something right at the limit of what could be done. Gas turbine engines, disc brakes, cruise control. The technological leaps that we made changed the expectations. Cars in the future would be different. Firebird 1, Firebird 2, Firebird 3. An experiment for tomorrow. Designers and engineers dreaming a little ahead of the public's desires can turn yesterday's dream into today's reality. Our commitment to moving the industry forward, I think, started with the Firebirds and even before that. We're looking to push the boundaries of what we know is practical and possible. And in order to do that, we have to understand where it is we came from. The Firebird 2 was actually one of the first vehicles ever designed with an automated driving system. And at General Motors, we're all in to get self-driving cars on the road to define what the future of mobility looks like. Technology is really transforming the auto industry, and it's really important for us to look at unconventional ideas for a new solution. The world is transformed by dreamers. And General Motors is the place where we can dream big. 